Statistics show the average American eats about 124 pounds of potatoes per year. It's always been considered to be a vegetable, but the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee is considering reclassifying a potato as a grain, and that could negatively impact growers. Maya Fleck explains. This ground near Pettibone is getting churned for the seeding of potatoes next week. Kent Van Ray has been farming these potatoes for such a long time, it's part of his identity. Down to his license plate, and he says they should stay a vegetable. You know, with it labeled as a vegetable now, a lot of the, I think like school programs, USD or nutrition programs require you to have X amount of vegetables per week. So I would say if that gets declassified and moved into a different category, I would say it, it will mean less demand. 14 senators, including John Hoven, sent a letter to the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, opposing any reclassification of potatoes to a grain. That's a big question, what, why? You know, I mean, something's been working. I mean, the consumers used to potatoes being labeled as a vegetable and they throw this into it. And, you know, you read a lot about it. It's gonna, it's gonna cause a lot of confusion and, uh, you know, it takes a long time to get consumers educated. He says yields were down last year. Last year, he said a lot of people overproduced and the demand is not high right now. He says it's an especially bad time for a reclassification to occur. In this building, there are 180 semi loads of potatoes and it is 18 feet deep. Just leave it the way it is. If it's not broke, why try and fix something that's not broke, you know? His russet Burbank potatoes are used for a french fry processing plant in Jamestown. In Pettibone, I'm Maya Flack reporting for your News Leader. The dietary guidelines are published every five years.